Hey, this um, is Sam. You just said... What? <laughs> this is Sam and Ash. Ash. And um, we're here to give what, 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 a what? annoying and live review of uh, Shift Shop. We just completed round one. I told Sam that he needed to get his ums out first. So I was, so I was not umming, umming, I was umming before this, so... Anyway, we are going to give you our review of the first round of Shift Shop. Um, all right, I got mine out too. Okay, good. So, welcome to. He said. She said, and like Sam said, this is a review of Shift Shop. The Shift Shop. It's a little old place where we, we can, can work real hard. Work high. out together, even though we worked out separately every time, because I'm like. I need my space. Both of us need space. We don't. We only have one set of weights that yeah, are like but legit. Yeah, when we're like, when we're like in the zone, we need to be like in the zone. So Shift Shop is a new program, not yet released, um, by Beachbody that is going to be released this July. And we were asked to be testers for the program before it was even released, which was pretty awesome. Hashtag Pretty awesome, which my daughter really Olivia is standing right here and she used to say, hash browns, hash browns. I didn't do it on purpose. Pretty awesome. Um, so, yeah, first of all, welcome everybody. Sam and I, when we were photographers, we used to do the He Said, She Said show. I haven't done that in a while, so maybe we'll bring it back right now with this first review. So, first of all, if you have any questions about it, um, let us know, but let's break it down. So, we're going to treat this like it's improv. And I studied I'm not good at theater that. a little bit, and Sam did not, so he doesn't probably even know how that works. So, this, really. is, this is how it works. We basically just kind of finish each other's sentence and pick up. So, this program is... Intense. Three weeks long. <laughs> 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 it's in three sections phases and <laughs> same thing and the phases are first week second week <laughs> second week and third week <laughs> <laughs> and so let's first tell them who this program is for this program is for everyone that is not gonna die when they try to do it <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> Legit, they say it, they say it's for everyone. I would recommend. I would say it's not for. Everyone. I would say it's not for everyone. <laughs> I would recommend it to uh, the people, people that who will get the most out of it. If you are can people do a have, burpee, if yeah, you can do a burpee and you point. can do squat and kind of like jump around while you're squatting, hold a whole plank for what would you say at least thirty seconds? <laughs> five, to <a> hours. <laughs> five hours. Five hours. <laughs> At least, I would say you'd want to hold plank for at least a minute. I would say your fitness level needs to be at least 0 to 10, A. Marine. Marine. <laughs> Maybe SEAL. No. No, no. For real though, a, a it's... six. I think the reason that oh. they say like it's for everyone is because there's modifiers. So, like, there's... When we're doing those little, like plyo jump hops whatever they call them bunny rabbit hops or whatever like you're squatting down in little hops like i can't finish them all so like if i was more fit i would finish them all if i'm less fit i can't finish them if you can't do any then you're gonna just not hop and walk you know what i mean like they have there's modify. lots of modifications um honestly though as coaches i think somebody who needs that many modifications i would just we would just say do a different program, but you can do it. But you know who's going to love this program is people that were high school and college athletes. That's what I was going to say too. Yeah. <laughs> if you played sports, me, what do you think? Maybe middle school athletes as well? Yes. If you maxed out at middle school, this is also for you. Yes, you could do it. Um, yeah, if you ever played team sports or had a coach, yes, former athlete. That's right, Krista. Yes, Krista. Krista you're going to be like... You're going to love this one. This is, this is going to be... This is... You're going to like this just one a lot. all over it. I don't know about swimmers. I just... I don't know what kind of training swimmers do. <laughs> there are swimmers in there, but if you played... If you played... Basketball. Volleyball. Soccer. Baseball. Track. Football. 
softball or figure skating this is for you um or if you just did none of those things and you want to feel ah. and the reason we say that is because it is a program that is both mental and physical and it's going to push your limits almost every single exercise uh, I just did speed 35 today, and I would say there were only two exercises, maybe, that didn't push me to my limit each time. So, 90% of the exercises are going to push you to your limit. We've been working out for almost three years straight, pushing ourselves pretty hard every day, and we were challenged by at least 85% of the exercises. And it just reminds you of like having an a coach there like an athletic coach for a team it's that type of drills there's a lot of it it's like agility drills um so let's kind of move into how the overview of how the program works so first of all there are each there's three weeks like we said three phases and so in phase one each workout is 25 minutes 25 minutes and we've got cardio and speed and strength. So speed is cardio. And so on the speed, it's called speed. The speed days, we use these agility markers. And so at first, you just use two, right? Yes, first so the day. first week it's okay. two. I'll oh, get this two. And then the next week it's three. three. And then the next week it's four. four. So you start with it, it shifts up in time. So the first week, like you said, is 25 minutes. Second week is 35 minutes. And then the third week is 45 minutes. And there's actually a secret super, super week. I don't know what it's called. We're going to find out all about that in two weeks. But we are doing round two. So this is like, we're reviewing Shift Shop as, as it's kind of like the normal one, round one, I guess. But then if you do round two, we'll talk about a little bit about that. Probably after round two, but um, weeks, three weeks. so the 25 minutes, I mean, what do you think about those first 25 minute workouts? So we, it goes six days and then seventh day off. So you go speed or cardio, which is no weights with it. And then all weights for strength and then speed and then strength and then speed and then strength. So you're doing the cardio workouts for 25 minutes, three times, and then the strength ones Three times so what was your like feeling about just kind of that overall how we repeated it I like it because you got a chance to basically you're doing it Monday Wednesday Friday and then your strength you're doing Tuesday Thursday Saturday so you're doing it just enough that you can see some improvement in the drills but you're only doing them three times so then you don't get bored Four. doing the same drills it's like so, the first time you're like, Ugh, what am I supposed to do? And the second time you're like, oh, got I this. I get this. And then the third time you see some improvement and you can go to the end. Some of it is just coordination. It's not even cardio. Yeah. <laughs> some just of them. Your mind. Like, knowing what to do. I mean, I would say the third time of doing it all, I was like, I can't give anymore. And so I feel like if I would have then gone and done another one and another one, right. like fourth and fifth, I would have been like, I can't do any better. And it maybe would have gotten discouraging. So I love how it's like, you were like, okay, figure it out. And then I'm going to work hard. And then I'm going to work really hard. And then boom. And so let's talk about how much weight you need on strength. So Sam, what weights did you start out with on strength 25? I don't remember. 25 maybe? The weights? I don't know. Apparently, I don't know. It's funny because I I twenty. I seem to remember that I started out with thirteen, and then I thought the next time I can really push myself. So then I went in up to seventeen and a half, and then I remember Sam going. What did you say? Remember? Uh uh, I don't. Oh, he. <laughs> he was like, oh, I'm using using twelves. You've been using 17 and a half? Um, I didn't use 12, so that's a lie. <laughs> we don't have 12. Set 12 and a half or 13. It was not 17 and a half. He was like, I'm not going to let my wife beat me. Do you remember that? Sure. Anyway. So I pushed myself. 
I started with 13 pounds, then I went up to 15 pounds. Next time you lie, at least pick a, like a weight classification. Is, that I could, wish could be possible. I wish like 15. The government really was watching us because I would get I would call in. The only choices are 10, 15, or 20. I did not use 10, so I used 15 or 20. Or 13. No. Um, so <laughs> That's not an option. That's not, we don't have that. By weight. the end, I was using 20s. <laughs> we don't have that weight. 20s, we do. Yeah. Yeah. By the end, I was using 40s. But at the beginning, he was using 4s. Okay, moving on from strength. So, like, the point is... This is what we call creative you, communication. You go as hard as you can, like, as heavy as you can until you can't. And then the next time, you try a little harder and try a little heavier. A little heavier. So, we use these markers, like I said. The first week, it's just two. And so, these markers... This is improv. These markers are blue and yellow. And the thing that, that's really good to This is home. Always home. And this is away. And the thing that's really good to do with these is to assign them meaning and affirmation um, that you, you know, like something that... A you, goal. A goal, yeah. And so, you know, this is kind of weird, crazy, but I've been doing this for three weeks and... We were going for a really big business goal to become a 10-star diamond team um, for our coaching team. And I put on here, like, I literally got a post-it note and put it on here. So every time I would, like, slap it or I'd have to hit it with my foot or whatever, I, it would say, like, you, you are worthy of being a 10-star coach. Like, that's what it said. Like, you are a 10-star coach. And so I did that and I just kept saying that to myself because I was a lot of there was a lot of fear going for this big goal. And guess what? We are now qualifying for eleven stars. So we exceeded our goal. And I really think like these little agility markers, when you're busting your butt physically and then mentally you're like, I can, I can, I can, I can and you're Bruce tying in there. you're tying that physical I can with something else. It's really, and I, I had to also put like, you are a good mother. Like you are kind and you are patient. You are a good mother. I had to put those on there. And so every time I was struggling and I just had to like slap them because we're doing a drill, I just would say that to myself. So I think that was, these are like really powerful. These little pieces of silicone, these markers are super, super powerful. Is there anything that you went through your head when you were slapping them? Um, I talked about our business goal as well. Um, and I also said, I can push harder. I can push through this. Um, just being in a uh, tough spot and knowing that we have enough in us to do that. Um, and that's not discounting God's part in it, but, um, our part's not to fold. Mm -hmm. Our fault, our just in not life to give in general up. and everything. So um, you have to just keep going. Just keep pushing. Um, so, okay, so that was week one, 25 minutes. And so then the nutrition on week one. We had, a, it, we kind of focus on. It was the base nutrition that we already used with all of our yeah, you're right. challenge groups, our exactly. busy girl boot camps. It, it was is the, the base. The base nutrition, the portion, portion fixed nutrition that we use. So nothing new. If you are already one of our clients in one of our boot camps, nothing new there. It's the base nutrition. Um, a lot, a lot of greens, a lot of protein. This is greens as in yeah, as in vegetables. How did you feel? Carbs. How did you feel? Because you had not really been following strict. How did um, you feel? One week one. I felt pretty good. I didn't feel like it was super hard. Um, I did lose a lot of weight the first week, I think five pounds. And I thought that was maybe a little bit more than I had expected. Um, I think I thought that I would lose about five pounds over the course of, or maybe like six or seven pounds over the course of three weeks. And that would be like four, two, and one. Um, so five pounds the first week. I. It was a little bit blown away. I think it was the first three days. <laughs> so. Um, okay, so yeah, so the meal plan is the same. So then week two goes to 35 minutes. Workouts. And you go three markers on the agility days, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And it was very 
it, it was significantly more challenging. And I do different We do a lot of 30-minute workouts to 40-minute workouts, typically. If we do a longer workout, typically it's weights. So 35 minutes of cardio is actually a little bit more than we typically do. So it was starting to get a, a little bit more difficult than what we were used to, to be honest. Um, yeah, but it's really cool because you're like, okay, hey, Allison. I just did, hey, I just did 25 minutes for the last week. You're like, okay, I can easily do 10 more minutes. The drills push. were hard, but the actual whole workout I thought was... It was Very good. The, really, the other thing that's like really, really cool is in week one with the workouts I loved is that you don't repeat anything. You right. just go, you just go through it. There's just like a ton of moves and you just go through them. And well, you come back. No, that's right? in week two. Oh, On okay. week two, what's really cool, so in the same thing with the strength, you're right, just doing right. different moves. And on week two, it's totally different moves. You're adding 10 minutes, but instead of like harping on the same exercises over and over, you'll do one set for one minute. So each exercise for one minute. And then you go like back six, maybe. and you do the same set for 45 seconds and then the same set for 30 seconds. But you're going down, you know, like down in time. So you're like, I can do this, I can do this. And then you sit, you go to a whole second set of exercises and you do a minute, then 45 seconds, and then 30 seconds. And so the, this whole program is just like mixing it up so that you don't get mentally tired. Because I think it would be super hard if you're going 30 minutes, 40, or 30 seconds, 40 seconds, a minute, but going down, everything just feels like it's shifting right at the right time, right when you want to give up. It's, it's a lot of intervals. I mean, that's what it is. Yeah. It's, so that hit workout. You're going to be very tired between sets. Uh, at, on the speed days, I it, it was We're just like, like doing like interval workouts in cross country. Like my legs, I was just like jello. Yeah. You know, They're or like, oh. like uh, suicides in mm -hmm. basketball. It was that kind of feeling where you your your legs just. It's, like after the workout you're like and the weights anymore. the weights are not like isolating and just pumping they're more like full body you know like you'll do a plank a sumo, with a row yeah or a sumo squat and then come up bring it around your head then go into a side a lunge yeah, um a lunge. so i don't know it's really good like exhausting but not like it didn't feel uncomfortable and it's I, what i didn't realize when we started but and the reason why i started so low on the weights is i i'm used to doing weight programs where you're doing 12 reps or 10 reps or eight reps. But because it's timed, a lot of times you're only doing three to five to eight reps. Because if you do a heavier, this is the cool thing, it's like because it can be so flexible with levels, is that if you are using five pound weights and you're doing sumo squats and bringing it around your head, like you could do a ton. But right. when you're doing a lot of weight, exercise. you're gonna go slowly and bring it up with good form and it's not so much about more and more and more it's just about really kind of overloading your muscles in a good way right so at the end when you're doing 30 seconds of a complex weight move you're only going to do three to six of and them. when he means complex it's not like oh i can't figure this out it's just more move than one like it kind of flows um it's really not the agility part the first time you do it you're like every set or you're like oh let me figure this out right it's not really choreography but it does take your mind and your body having to kind of go but it depends on the move you get better at it um so then the nutrition on this is why this program is just so cool unlike anything else is that it's just sh zigzagging um which i think really is good for your body's results but also uh mentally it's always mixing it up and it doesn't feel like you're doing one thing and having to sustain it forever so on week two, the carbohydrates decrease by half. Not the fruits, they're the same, but the carbohydrates, like, so what carbohydrates? I had beans and potatoes, and you made this amazing sweet potato mash. That was killer, especially with coconut oil. And quinoa. But it could be rice, rice, you know, that kind of thing. So healthy complex carbs, but you decrease them, and then the the you go down by a fruit too. Uh, okay, okay, and I guess in his meal plan they went down by a fruit. It depends on what calorie bracket you are. Uh, but then healthy fats, protein, and 
veggies go up as carbs go down. So then moving on to week four, three, there's only three, we add in the fourth marker. And so it's just, again, it's cool because as you're adding different more markers, you change the configuration. So you'll do a set, one of those sets, like we said, the minute, 45 second, 30, and they'll be in a little square like this. And then you'll do them where they're like this in a line, except spaced out, obviously. And then there's a break between them. And it's just, I don't know, you know what? A little bit of it is kind of like, you know, I think it's summer camp or school or something. When you do, you get in groups and you have like those competitions, like it kind of feels almost like field games in some ways. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like jump on one foot as fast as you can and then turn around. Like it makes relay it, races. It makes it, yeah, it makes it more interesting because you, you're, you're doing it against yourself, but you're not just doing an exercise. You actually want to see like, how fast can I get down? How fast can I get back? Can I do this movement coordinated uh, or not? Can I do it a little bit faster than I did it last time? And so you're playing games with yourself a little bit more than just doing uh, a move for a minute. Because you have the agility marker, so you're trying to hit a spot and you're also trying to do the move quicker or go deeper in a lunge or whatever the, he's directing you to do. but. Yeah, it's it's more of a game. And the so then the the two okay, so the nutrition on week three takes out all carbohydrates, all complex now carbohydrates there's carbohydrates in vegetables. So I'm not saying like that. I'm saying like what we would consider a carb, you know Mostly what I mean? A carb. Um those are cut out again. It leaves in some fruit. Veggies, protein, healthy fats going up. I cut out all fruit because I can't have it because of candida. Um, Sam stuck I'm, exactly. I mostly carbs. tried to do my fruit kind of, a, since it was my only carb, I did it kind of around my workout. So I usually would have one before and one after. Um, so, yeah, I mean, for me, it wasn't, none of that was a big deal because I've been having to eat like this for months and months and months yeah. dealing with candida. But for you, did you feel kind of that gradual decrease in carbs. I know that can make people hangry. Did you feel um, hangry at all? I didn't think I did, but Ashley, I think, thought I did, so. Um, he gets a little so stressed out when he goes, the day before he goes back to work, so I think it was more of that. Yeah, I think um, it was more environmental than, than food. Um, I, I, I was able to time out with the fruit what I kind of like needed. Now, if I didn't have any fruit, then you know maybe that would would have been a harder. But it's a mental thing. Shift. Like you're getting the same amount of calories, you're just switching the ratio, and so you're not getting that quicker hit with carbs. Your so your body is going to switch more to fat, burning fat for energy instead of the carbohydrates for energy, um, which I think most people want. But if your body if you're not fat adapted like that, then you could feel a little like where's my carbs? But again, you're not, we're not cutting out more calories. We're switching the source so that your body's going to be more efficient at burning fat. So like as you're taking away carbohydrates as the fuel source and you're saying no body use fat, you're upping the intensity and the amount of exercise. So again, it's even more telling your like body shift. You need to use fat. You need to use fat. You need to use fat. So for me, it wasn't a big deal at all because I was that's already how I was eating. Um, so I can't really speak to that. I could see some people that are like really carb addicted um, struggling with it. But honestly, that's why I really want everybody that goes through the shift shop once it comes out to first go through three to six weeks of our baseline portion fix. Because I don't want them to do it and really not know how it's making their body respond. I want them to know what a baseline feels and then how they feel as they do take carbohydrates out because I feel like if you don't have that baseline yet, you may just feel like the okay. like it's difficult Too much instead season. of the freeing part of it. Um, yeah, it's a really it is a really big game changer. It's been awesome. Mentally, I have felt really clear-headed just having honestly more healthy fats in my diet, really like no anxiety, really, 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 really good. So I think mentally it's been, 
it's, this is this is such a a positive a positive mental thing. I would recommend this for anybody that was up against a big goal. Like let's say you need to save money for a down payment of a house, or you're adopting, or you maybe you have had a miscarriage, or you're going through infertility, or you have marriage problems, or something's going on with your kid that's really hard. Like if you're it's really struggling with something mentally. I think this is a beautiful program because using these like markers, it sounds so silly, but you can assign kind of those things to to them, like that you need to affirm yourself and you need to get over and have those goals. And when you pour all of yourself out physically, it's like it becomes this catharsis where it aligns them with your emotions and your mind. And I think you literally are able to make a mental shift to be able to overcome more than you than you would have been able to if you were just sitting there worrying about those things. Right. Um, okay, I have... Totally agree. I mean, I wrote that out yesterday on a post that I did. Totally agree. Um, I do have some, a question. I want to know if you guys have any questions. Uh, this for, I do want to say that I had gotten a question before, like, if somebody could do it in a small space because obviously they, they may have seen me place these out. So I'll be posting videos soon, but I went throughout my whole house and I tried the workout in like every room of my house to see if I could use it. Cause I had been doing the agility markers in my garage, which I, I don't know, I just kind of like like to. It's got kind of like that basketball court type feel. But yeah, you totally can. You don't, they need to be spaced out way less than it seems like. Um, so that's not a problem really as far as space I'm trying to think what other types of questions this is going to be launching mid-july so like I said I am going to strongly recommend that if you're in interested in it that you start right now yeah. with portion fix you start with a different workout program in one of my busy girl at boot camps and we get you adapted uh, we create that baseline because otherwise, I don't want it to. What I don't want it to be is I. I want it to be life changing. So the coaches that are going through this with me as a test group, they have been following Portion Fix. They have been doing working out for years, and they're like most of them longer than us. Yeah. Honestly. Oh yeah. Yeah. We're like some of the newbies in there, and it's like they're. Sure. It's like the skies are opening up. It's 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 such a big deal. So. I don't want somebody just being like, oh, I want to get results like they did. Let me just do it. And then like three weeks and they're like, all right, check. I want it. I want them to realize like what this is so that they can figure out where in the shifts their, their maintenance, I guess, would be. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about just results. And then if anybody has any questions, what were your final thoughts, results? I lost eight pounds in three weeks. I did not know I had eight pounds to lose. Uh, I was in denial about what I was eating, I think. And that's one of the great things about... Not what I was tracking, feeding. Tracking your... What were you eating? Calories. What were you not eating? Not your calories, but tracking your containers. What? What specifically were you maybe eating that you were in denial about? Processed foods from Dilmar. From Dilmar. <laughs> There's a place called Dilmar that has healthy snack foods, and we'll get it for the kids, like organic popcorn. Which and basically means that instead of a, a on a zero to ten on nutrition scale, instead of a two, they're like a three and a half. <laughs> so he will stop by after picking the. They're not Cheetos <laughs> because they don't have coloring or whatever they're still just dehydrated they're still a grain it's still mostly carbs so he would get himself a snack all the time it, it became lunch about two or three days a week that's that was the real problem instead of having Denial good protein is not just and a river salad. in Egypt no it lives right here <laughs> well Right Did you measure yourself yet to see if you lost any inches? Oh, I'm sure I lost inches. I well, I've measured myself before on these programs. I don't lose like three inches, four inches. So the the shift for me was more important on the uh, um, the mental side and getting back to my diet. I've seen more, even though I lost eight pounds, which is fantastic. I've seen more results in 
how I've lived my life and being more intentional and being able to push harder towards some goals and be more focused. Mm -hmm. That's one of my biggest problems is that I'm not focused because I have a hard time focusing with a lot of chaos and my life is chaos. We have a lot. That is what we, we deal with, with five kids. Do you notice how bad so. this lighting is the whole time? I know, I was thinking I was like, like have bags all, it's pointed down. Well, and it's over to this side, so I'm just gonna talk over here. I lost, we, we should have put like a beauty I lost thing. four pounds, which I was very happy about. I gained, you're only half as good as Six me. pounds back in February when I was doing a weightlifting program and my body did not want to let go of it. I have been very disciplined the past four or five months. And this program is what broke the plateau. Hallelujah. I lost six pounds, 2.25 inches in my waist. And I have to say, I feel pretty darn good looking. You are pretty darn good Except looking. not with the light this way, just this way. I felt pretty good in the swimsuit today. Oh, great. Thank course. you. You know what? I don't even need you to tell me I look great because I felt great. Thank you anyway. I think that's important. Um, I used to like swimsuit was like the worst thing ever. And so to put on a swimsuit and feel like, honestly, I feel like I have never looked better. Thank you, Shift Shop. High five. And a high five to you. 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 All right, I think that about wraps it up for our review of Shift Shop Round One. Next up, Shift Shop Part Two. Part Round Two, which means this is how it's going to go. Quick overview in a speedy second. One, two, three. 35 minute week. Then the 30, then 45 minute week. And then a 50 minute week. And the, the eating plan goes week two, week, week two, week three. Yes. And we'll be, you'll, I don't know what in the heck our results are going to be like from that. Um, I don't, I can't imagine them getting better for where our bodies are, but I'm ready for it. Does anybody have any questions before we hop off? We love this program. Yeah, this is definitely going to be, this is an incredible program if you want to cut, if you're like, I want to get down. Like, I don't know if you can see. Well, I don't think you can see. I've seen more definition in my my arms than I've ever had. I don't feel like you can see. When I look down at them, let's see if you can look down at them. See down at my arms? I feel like I have. Somebody got burned today. I love it. It Last, how long is it all together? It's three weeks and the workouts are 25 minutes, then 35 minutes, then 45 minutes. If that's what you mean. And there's a harder round that's three weeks that's 35, 45, 50. Three rounds total? Yep. Unless, well, it's three phases. So you don't, you can just do one three round weeks. of three weeks. But we're doing for the test group two rounds of the three weeks. But the second round is kind of like a deluxe option. And it's, it's, you skip week one and you just go to week two, then week three. And then there's like this extreme week. Um, that we'll be doing. Th- yeah, it's optional. Three weeks or six weeks. Just how like Core to Force has the hybrid program. Um, you know what I mean? Like those different schedules. It's kind of like that. Like a different calendar for it. So this would be the deluxe calendar that we would be doing. But at its base, it's three weeks. Yeah. Um, and I wanted to also just kind of mention real quick. So Chris Downing is the trainer that for Shift Shop. And he's a brand new beach body super trainer it was a big surprise and announcement just in april that he was that we're gonna have a new trainer nobody knew and that this program was coming out and then we got the call to um ask us to be part of the uh rate the impact i would say impact 10 it's like amazing uh do you mean like if it's high impact high impact high impact yeah yeah yeah, definitely. And I will say too, I don't know if you can see, can you see my knee scar? There's a lot of jumping and he pushes you to jump higher. So I have, I had ACL surgery, I have another scar here, 
And so for me to be able to do these types of agility moves was um, pretty awesome. Pretty, pretty empowering. Impressed. Yeah. Because when you have torn your ACL, like in your meniscus, I couldn't walk. I had to reteach myself how to walk and run. So then to be able to do these things again makes me feel very youthful. <laughs> very youthful. Krista is the secret week. Like twenty two minute hardcore hell week. I, I didn't done actually it. do the hell week with hardcore, um, but I, I think either. it's kind of a similar idea. Um, I think it's going to really push us to our limits. It's fifty minutes, so I mean, that alone twice as long. There, there there's yeah. modifications for everything, Allison. Um, they probably just, have a squ split screen. That's how they usually do on most things. So we um, like we don't have the program as in like version, we go into bod we have like little quick time videos right. of it so it doesn't have all the bells and whistles i mean it's the program but it says like testers only don't you know it doesn't have like the nice parts of bod where you can like go back and it's like it's not file. as navigatable just and this is just because we're testers but once yeah. it's released It'll so anybody who has beach body on demand already the day it launches, it's going to be like, boom, just pop up in your library and you can go. So that's another reason to get on the ball now and to get started so you don't have to wait. Do we know what day order. that's going to be? Uh, July, July 12th. 12th? Yeah. There you go. Um, is that Tuesday? Yep. So Chris Downing, he is from Ohio. He North, is a North personal trainer. He's Super motivational. Like if you look him up on YouTube, like super motivational, awesome guy, dad of four. He trains NFL players and then also all just all types of people. He's helped um, women lose like hundreds of pounds. Uh, he just he's got like you know I've gotten to I met him in Punta Cana and talked to him and then in this test group he like does videos for us every day and talks to us. And he just, I feel like he has like a daddy's heart. <laughs> like, he's just like a big teddy bear. <laughs> he's no. super, super sweet and loving. And he's very understanding, compassionate. He's not like a, like this hot shot, oh, I'm so awesome. Like, everybody bow down. He's, he, he's worked with the people. And he's had a hard life. And he's just like, he just wants, he wants life change for people he wants them to mentally you know break free of those holds and yeah and so it's really been awesome all right guys thanks for hopping on i'm excited to kind of go through the next three weeks of round two see what our final results are i'm really excited too you all need to get on my shift shop email list and in my screening group because i have access not just to our before and after pictures like but to everybody in the test group so I can leak those to you and share them so you can see, you know, because it may be like, well, oh, I don't know, Ashley and Sam, da 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 you know, you didn't have 20 pounds to lose or 30 pounds to lose or Ashley, I don't know, like, da 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 you know. But I have people that need to lose 150 pounds that I have their results from. I have people that needed to lose 2 pounds or 0 pounds just to see how it affected their body. I mean... Right hundreds of them so I'm going to put them in my screening group so that if you're in there you can see and you can kind of maybe find a body type that relates to you and see what you could expect if you go all out this program is not something you like put on your heart monitor and it just does it for you you have to do it but to get in that screening group and to get on my email list where I am going to like I'm going to be putting together a week two meal plan we're doing week two again this week and I'm going to be sending it out to my shift shop email list. You can do that just by going to busygirlssociety.com backslash shift shop. Busygirlssociety.com backslash shift shop. And I'll get you on the email list so you get all the goodies. You'll know when it's going to launch. I'm going to be doing a first ever public test group. And you, are you making like mean faces at me right now? I'm smiling at you. I feel like you're That's making mean like... Face. I feel like you were like... I'm smiling. You're pretty. Mm. And I got mean face. I think you were making like... I'm just saying they worked out. <laughs> <laughs> Sam just taught me what RBF was. <laughs> no, you looked like you were... You looked like you were making fun of me. That's the face you had. No, I was... Oh, I was debating whether or not to kiss you. Oh, go ahead. With food. 
No, 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 no. All right, everybody. Have, Have a good, good night. night.